everybody. It's time for Facebook Friday, but it's not Friday. It's Thursday. We are having a Facebook live one day early. I have a hard time calling it Facebook live because I call it Facebook Friday all the time. So I just want to call it Facebook Friday. We're going to pretend like it's Friday. And if you're at work, I'm going to give you permission to take tomorrow off and pretend like it's Saturday. Just tell your boss I told you it was okay. <laughs> if only it was that easy, right? Hello, welcome. Good. I'm glad I see you guys. Let's see if I can find you on my iPad. All right, all right, all right. So I'm coming to you a day early. My younger two are at camp and uh, we pick them up tomorrow afternoon. It has been a glorious week. <laughs> I do miss them a lot um, and it's weird. Uh, but man, it's nice being able to complete a thought, you know, <laughs> without being interrupted. It's been nice. My oldest is actually in New Orleans right now on a mission trip with our church. Um, she comes home Saturday. So it's weird that they the two coincided. It's happened before. Seems like the third week of June is a very popular week for all of these activities. Um, but um, we we went out to eat last night. We had date night. It was just it's just kind of fun to break the norm, you know, just a little fun. All right, so today we're doing Sharing Sunshine. And you might have overlooked the stamp set in the catalog. It's only $16, which I think that's probably the cheapest stamp set that we have. And um, it's really cute and fun. I don't think looking at the set really does it justice. It has these little smiley faces, which I love. When you put a smiley face on something, it just makes it a whole lot more fun in my opinion so I really like that um, and <laughs> I went with polish pink again and daffodil delight uh, Melody Hyde who is the lead concept artist at Stampin' Up put a card on Instagram a couple weeks ago very similar to the first card I'm going to show you well somewhat similar and I it was those two colors and I was like I have to do that I love it so much kind of like pink lemonade or something it's really cute um, good, I'm glad you're here, Robin, hello. Good to see all of you. I have a lot of things to show you, so I'm gonna flip the camera around um, just because I think all of these things are better seen from, from above than for me holding them up. But you know what I did forget to do is share the video. I'm gonna share it over to my other Pink Buckaroo page. If you would like to be entered to win a door prize, um, <laughs> Carla, that's funny. Carla says they should have put sunglasses in that stamp set. You're absolutely right. Hello. I love stamps that have accessories. You know, like the What's Cooking stamp set that has the little utensils and all the little things. It's like a dollhouse putting things together. But I agree. I love the sunglass idea. Um, if you want to be entered to win a prize, that was where I was. That was the middle of my thought. Um, all you have to do is share the video on Facebook. Okay, all right, so I'm going to flip you guys around. And those of you who watch the replay on YouTube, I appreciate your shares as well. And I am going to put your name in the drawing too. I realized this last week that I've got quite a large number of you who watch over on YouTube. So you will need to be included in those drawings for sure. Okay, let me. <laughs> Once again, I'm over on the left side of the table. For some reason, my camera is here. I need to have a whole new setup with my camera, I feel like. Okay, we're going to start. Ugh, I don't like how crowded it is. Hold, please. Hold on. Hold on. Um, we're going to start with the big news of the day in the stamping up world, if you will. And that's free shipping. Free shipping. Stampin' Up! does free shipping not very often. I was looking back. They did it um, in the spring. No. Yeah. In the spring, which was very out of the odd or out of the blue. Weird. Odd. Um, and then they did it again. We just found out on Monday. So they they do this every now and then. Once, maybe twice a year. They give us a little, bloop, we're going to have a free shipping day. Um, and it is so cool to get free shipping. You know, some of us who are Amazon Prime people, we're used to free shipping. Although, you know you're really paying for shipping with Amazon Prime, right, you guys? Because the stuff's more expensive, they just build the shipping in, and you pay $100 a year. But psychologically, <laughs> we think we're getting free shipping, right? 
uh, my husband ordered a generator this last week and he could get it cheaper from another website, including freight on this huge heavy generator. It was cheaper paying that way, including freight, than getting it on Amazon with quote, free shipping. So, you know, you never know with those, but this is truly free shipping today. Today only, Thursday. Um, Stampinup.com and anything once your order gets over $50. And $50 is pretty easy to get to. With me, if you spend over $50, you're also going to get the All-Star Tutorial Bundle, Sand and Sea. I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. Um, but I want you guys to know today is the only day um, that this will be available. Free shipping, okay? Don't forget. All right, I put in my order just a little while ago as well. All right, let me tell you about the tutorial bundle. I sent out an email. So last week, it was funny. I told you guys I only send an email out when I have something to tell you, right? And I hadn't sent an email last week. So I went to send an email this week, and I realized it had actually been two weeks since I emailed you, so I don't bug you. However, <laughs> this week, I've needed already to send two emails, and I'm going to send another one tomorrow, so I'm making up for lost time. So just know that I only email you when it's something important, and if there's nothing important, I will go two weeks <laughs> without emailing you guys. Make sure you join my email list so you don't miss anything, okay? Um, the tutorial bundle. This is a program that I've been involved with for maybe four years now. Um, Kylie Bertucci from Australia started it, and I was among the very first group. Kylie and I are the only two remaining original OGs, if you will, from the All-Star Tutorial Bundle first group. We've evolved over the years, and I think we've developed an amazing a little program. Um, there are 12 Stampin' Up! designers. Are there pictures here? No. 12 Stampin' Up! designers all from all over the world. So United States, South Pacific, and Europe. And we all, we, every month we pick a suite and then we all design a project. We type up all the details and we film a video. And then Kylie's husband, Bruno, combines them all in this giant PDF that we can offer our customers for free with any $50 order. So when you put an order in online with me, I then will email you this PDF. Um, sometimes it takes me a week. Sometimes it takes me two weeks. I'm so sorry if it takes me two weeks. You have every right to email me and say, look, sister, send me my free PDF. Um, sidebar, it's super annoying. I can't generate email addresses from every order that is placed. I literally have to go line by line by line. And, and that's why sometimes I drag my feet in sending this. I need to be able to just say, okay, hey, database, give me all the emails for everybody's put in an order between these dates. But it doesn't do that. Anyway, back to this. Just that's a little why sometimes it takes me longer because it does take me time to sit down and peck, you know, all those emails out of the, the order screen. Anyhow, free $50, right? If you spend $50 free. Our teams all get them for free. So if you're on one of our teams, you get it for free every month. Um, then it, let's say you're a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator and you don't want to order from me, you can buy just the PDF in my PDF store for $15, okay? Um, it's sent to you. It has the links to the videos. There's QR codes that you can scan um, and you can buy it that way. The fourth option, the way to get this, it only happens, well, twice a year which is the first month. We do it in six month blocks. So we do from July to December, and then we do January to June. So that means June right now is the last month in this last series. So we're starting a new series in July. And here are the details on that. I posted it on my blog this week if you wanna go read about it. Um, we have picked all of the um, suites that we're going to do each month, except for one. We haven't picked one yet from the new mini catalog. Um, and each month, that's the PDF that you'll get. The, the first month in the series, which is July, you can actually subscribe to the PDF, which means I send it to you automatically on the first of every month. This is great for those of you who like my PDFs, who buy PDFs, you're a demonstrator, you want ideas, all of that. Um, they are $15 a month, but when you subscribe, you get the sixth month for free. Um, so two ways to do that. You can sign up in PayPal your or your, I guess it's, it's through PayPal, but they'll charge your card every month, $15 until the last month. And then you don't get charged. So five months, 
or you can just pay for all of it up front, $75, and then you'll get them every month on the first in your inbox. And I send those without fail. That is the very first thing that I do on the first of every month is send those out. Um, so if you would like to become a subscriber and get it in your inbox on the first every month, make sure you look for the details. You know, and I don't think I added it to today's blog post, but I will add it to this video, this description up top. I'll have a link there. It's just like two, two um, blog posts back for this week. I think it was Tuesday's blog post um, and you can find it over there, okay? But anyway, this month's a sand and sea. This month is almost over. Um, but this one is for anybody who orders today through the end of June. And then July's will be the Expressions in Ink Suite. And I filmed that video two days ago. It's a very pretty project, if I do say so myself. Okay, next up. Last reminder for Sweet as a Peach. This is it. Registration closes tomorrow. Um, if you love the Sweet as a Peach class, this this registration for this class, I think, has broken all my records and is the most registered class I've ever had. So you guys are amazing. You love this as much as I do. Sweet as a Peach, you can get it with the bundle, without the bundle. You get uh, six projects, so six make and takes with the bundle, or maybe you already have it and you don't need it. You're also going to get a pack of um, the Champagne Rhinestones for for free if you if you get but uh, option number one with the bundle. But both options include the rhinestones, include the projects, include some of the designer series paper, and it includes a bolt of the ribbon. Um, these, I'm gonna start working on these Monday, and they will go out by the end of next week. And the third option is PDF, if you just want that PDF um, of the six make and takes in this class. Actually, it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a big class. Seven projects. You can click the PDF link at the top of my blog and scroll down, and it's alphabetically, and it's under Sweet as a Peach Class to Go PDF, and you can buy it there. And my class, I mean, my downline get it for a discount, $22. Um, they get the make and takes sent to them for $22. Okay, that's it. That's the last time you're gonna hear me talk about it. So if you want it, make sure you do it by tomorrow. Now here's my new class. OMG, this may quite possibly be my favorite class I've ever, ever made. And you know, it's subtle, the, our subtle uh, color family. And usually I am not a subtles girl. I, I am a brights girl, you guys know that. But look how fun these colors are. And I did pull in some pops of um, polished pink, of course as well. So this class to go, all of my classes are to go, which means they're delivered to your mailbox. Um, you do them whenever you want. There's no time to show up online or in person. Um, I send you the PDF and everything that you need to make the projects. This uh, class has three cards and three 3D, a mug cake gift box, a mini recipe album, which I think is my favorite project. Let me just show you. This would be a cute keepsake. When I got married, my mom made little wedding albums for all of our out, uh, wedding albums, little recipe books for everybody who came from out of town for my wedding, and they included San Antonio recipes. So I thought I was thinking of that when I designed this. But you know, just a little gift, a shower gift, anything. Uh, the the recipe card printable is in the PDF. You'll get that when you get the class, either the kit or the PDF. And then a, you know, just a, a goodie box for treats. Um, so six projects, you'll get a pack of the Settles Designer Series paper, a pack of the matte black dots. You can get it with the What's Cooking bundle or without, if you already have the What's Cooking bundle, you can get it without. Um, I had a hard time deciding the dates on this class because we're going to be gone the entire last week of July and some of the second week, and I'm worried about giving you a date and then not being able to get it out on time. So the deadline to sign up for this is July 16th. I'm going to do my best to get it out the next week, but just in case I'm saying for sure it'll be out by the first week of August. Fingers crossed I get it out before that because I hate having to come home and rush to do something. I want to have it done before I leave. But you never know with supplies and stuff if that'll happen. So three weeks from tomorrow is the deadline. It's only open for three weeks. Okay? So look for that link um, on today's PDF and in the description of the video. When we're done, I will update it. 
Okay, how about, hello everybody who's jumping on, hello. Um, paper pumpkin came this week. How many of you got paper pumpkin? I always get extras. I've already sold half of them and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My mom gave me hers. I've got seven left if you want one. They are $25. That includes shipping. Um, this month is beautiful. Expressions in ink. It, it coordinates with that. You get a stamp set. You get two spots. What? What? I didn't know that. Usually you just get one. And then let's see. The box is cute this month. It's different. And then here are the projects. Looks like nine cards. Gorgeous. And the stamp set will coordinate. If you like that Expressions in Ink um, bundle, you'll like this too. Um, it goes with that. You are amazing. That's a beautiful set uh, stamp. So anyway, I've got seven of these left. If you want one of them, please email me. The best way to communicate with me is email. I don't always see Facebook Messenger. And if we're not friends on Facebook, sometimes I don't. It really doesn't show me your message. Um, so email me if you would like one of those, okay? Um, Club Create. Club Create is Beauty of Friendship this month, Beauty of the Earth Suite. Um, Club Create is my subscription kit program. It comes once a month. I just shipped our the July's kit last, what was it, Friday, Saturday? Um, it includes five projects. It includes about $20 in product, PDF, and a video. And if you stick around for six months, you get $25 in product credit. If you would like details on this, or in on club create program you can click the club create tab at the top of my blog the pdf with the included video is already for sale in my pdf store for those of you who just want the pdf okay now next month no no august i'm working way ahead since my kids aren't here august guys you spoke and i listened we're doing christmas and it's going to include some stuff from the new catalog but it's uh we're using the tidings and trimmings bundle um, from the annual catalog but this is august okay right now if you subscribe you're gonna get july so just a little sneak peek for my club create members okay if you want that one just stay tuned and i'll tell you when it's time to subscribe for that one i have to show you guys a gift i got this week i got this giant package from australia and look at this gorgeous card. A lovely lady named Robin sent it to me all the way from Australia. My husband was like, what did you order from Australia? I was like, nothing. I didn't order anything. It's a gift. Look at that. This is not a card. This is a work of art. Robin, this is incredible. Look at that. I mean, just look. It stands up like that. And you can see through the windows. And I know somebody's going to say, show us how to make that. Uh, this, is, this is above my pay grade. This is incredible. Lovely. So then she also sent me, you can guess, all the Australian yummies. My girls were not here to share, but I haven't eaten them all. I've been a good girl. And they'll help me when they get home tomorrow. Um, look, she even made me this gorgeous, beautiful mask. Isn't that cute? I love the fabric. So cute. So Robin, you spoiled me. Thank you very much. It was very thoughtful. thoughtful. I can't speak. My jaw literally hit the ground when I opened this. I could not believe it. All right, let me put this over here. And we're almost to the end. How about some prizes? Those of you who shared the video last week, I picked two names. And I have Cynthia Lynn and Patricia Toth. Um, ladies, message me your mailing addresses so that I can send you your stamp set. You're both getting Create with Friends. I appreciate you sharing my videos, ladies. I do appreciate it. Um, it helps me find new stampers. And, you know, I'm always looking for new stampers. This week, I've got two mini happenings. And let me show you real quick. This is the new stamp set that goes with this mini message um, die. I don't know how to do it. Maybe it's... It is, right? Suddenly it doesn't look right. It goes with a die. Oh, it has to be like this probably. Let's see, like that. And then it'll cut them out. Nope. Like that. Nope. Like that. There we go. 
the fifth time I got it. <laughs> Anyways, this is a stamp set that goes with this awesome, incredible die. Um, I will give two of these away next week to two lucky people who take the time to share on Facebook. All right. Oh, and YouTube also. Now, we are down to the end, the bottom. And I just want to show you what the make and take kits look like. I think I usually keep a couple in the cabinet. For example, I think I've got enough. I think I need to put some of them away. <laughs> Anyways, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, um, I pick a product and I do three projects with it. And then I give you the next Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three days to put in an order. And if you put in an order that is more than $35 and it uses the host code, I will send you today's projects for free next week. They look like this. I send you everything that you need and a thank you tag. You will need the stamp set that we're using today, Sharing Sunshine, um, ink and adhesive. I don't do any stamping. They come like this. I really do send them. I'm not lying. <laughs> I really do send them for free as a thank you. Now this week, I'm changing it up. Um, if you don't want to make and takes, maybe you're like, man, eh, this stamp set isn't for me. However, Erica, send me something for free. I will be happy to send you a free embellishment. So there are two host codes. If you would like the free embellishment, use the one that starts with F. If you would like the make and takes, use the one that starts with J. You can't double dip. No, you can't get both. You got to choose which one you want. Okay. Um, if your order is over 50, I mean, over $150, um, don't use the host code because then you're going to get stamp and rewards, um, which are, you know, free product. And I will still send you, you know what, if you spend 150, I'll send you both a free embellishment and the make and takes. Okay. All right. I got to make sure. Is that straight? That's straight, right? I'm going to push it up just a bit. All right. So there's that. And you got to take advantage of that free shipping this week or today, not this week. Just today, today, today only, today only. All right, let's get started. Hold on, let me get a drink. I have been sorting through all of my retired product this week, trying to get organized for a BOGO sale at some point um, this summer. I don't know when, but hopefully. Um, Yvonne, are you talking about that stamp? You do not cut it. You do not cut it apart. You can, but it's designed to stamp one big stamp. And then you use that one big die to cut all of those out at once. And then you have all these tags um, with sayings on them that, you, you know, you could like put them in a little basket and then just pull them as you need them. It's kind of cool. All right. So Facebook Friday, I told you about the freebies that you get. You can go over to pinkbuckaroo.com and get this PDF as well. It's free. Um, it has all the products I used as well as the measurements that you'll need. And most of the things that I told you about, the links are here as well. And those host codes that you'll need are there as well. Okay, I think we are ready to get started. Let's start with that card I told you about. This is the card that I made in May to welcome all of my new downline who joined when we had that starter kit special. Um, it was based on a card that Melody Hyde did. She used these colors and the sunshine. Hers was a little bit different. Um, and I loved her card so much that I immediately pulled out my Daffodil Delight and polished pink ink pads. And that's what I made. So then I was like, hey, wait, we have to make this card for Facebook Friday. So that's what we're going to do. This is a really easy card. Okay. It's going to take us like four minutes to make it. I did pre-record all the videos yesterday and I think this video was seven minutes. <laughs> so maybe, maybe seven minutes, but truly it does not take very long at all. All right. So we're going to start with a, of course, polished pink um, card base. And guys, card bases are just a full sheet of cardstock cut in half and you can cut it horizontally or vertically, whichever way you want. I like to cut my cards on the short side 
And this is why I started doing that. Many years ago when I started my blog, I found that taking a picture of a card that stood up like that photographed better than a card that stood up like that um, because it's straight up and down and then this is angled. For some reason, it just photographs better for me. So that's why I always do my um, folds at the top. I, maybe I'm weird. I don't know. But it's been a long-standing habit. That's why I do it. All right, I've used my... Which one do I, I think I like this side better. I've used my stitched rectangle die, the largest one, and I cut out a piece of polished pink designer series paper from the 2021, 2023 in color designer series paper pack. How many words is that in that title? That's a lot of words. Um, <laughs> we're going to, do one thing. Let's see. I think we'll make our sun first. Um, now, he, this stamp set does not have dies. I know. Wah, wah. But that just means that it's cheaper, right? <laughs> hey, Terry, thank you. You know what? I got my nails done this week, and I went in, and I said, I need polished pink color, right? That's pretty close because I knew we were doing this. Okay, so I'm using this image with Daffodil Delight on basic white and then without re-inking it I'm going to turn it and stamp it again so that there's some variation in color in between and you could even keep going each time it's going to be you know a little bit lighter now I said there were no dies that match that coordinate with this however the circles okay Siri I'm not talking to you she thinks I'm talking to her the um circle dies We'll, we'll help you with the circles, okay? So we're gonna cut that out with a circle die. Then I'm using this cloud die from the Basic Borders dies. You guys probably have noticed I am really loving these dies. And because of all the die cutting I do, I actually ordered two sets. Do you need two sets? No, you, one set will work just fine. But two sets does make it a little bit easier to do things like what we're gonna do. And I showed you guys also the Rick Rack die. Having two sets of the dies with that Rick Rack um, really makes it easy too. So if you only have one set of the dies, you'll run it through twice, which is fine, right? I mean, it works totally fine. But if you have two sets of the dies, you can do it all at once. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is a I believe two and a half by four and a fourth piece of basic white. I'm gonna use my post-it tape and I did link the post-it tape this week over my blog. By the way, my post-it tape showed up. I don't know why when I ordered it, it said July something. It showed up. There are liars over there at Amazon. Notice how I kind of varied it because I didn't want it to be identical, although no, it's different. It's different. I didn't want it to be exactly the same on the top and the bottom. There we have it. All right, while we have our cut and emboss machine, I almost called it the old name, I'm going to cut out our sun. I had so much fun with a stamp set, just kind of thinking outside the box and doing things that were sun related. All right, now I have also cut out, and I need to tell you the measurement of this. Where's my ruler? I have this ruler. I don't like this ruler. Um, one and a half. This is a one and a half inch daffodil delight circle. That die was one and seven eighths. Kind. I don't. One and seven eighths close to two. I don't. I can't really tell if that's. You know, these dies aren't exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, it's one and seven eighths. It was just me not measuring correctly. All right, so I told you guys, I loved the, where's my memento? I loved the face stamps. Um, Catherine, you ordered six rolls. I am so glad. You're gonna love it. I always feel like I need to hoard my post-it tape. Like I don't wanna use it. So now you won't feel like that because you have six rolls. All right, so we're gonna do the little smiley face. And then there's this little circle image. Ooh, my nose is itching all of a sudden. Um, 
And we're gonna give him some little pink cheeks, polished pink, okay? And then let's bring our clouds over and we're gonna stamp the sentiment in two different colors. We've got, I like to do the big word first. So thank you, right there. And then we'll do the sunshine in Daffodil Delight. Okay, right there. All right, now we need some dimensionals again. Lots of dimensionals this week on our three projects, as usual. Now, bring your card base back over. I'm actually gonna adhere this strip of clouds flat, okay? So flat right there. It goes from edge to edge of the card. And then we'll take our sun and we will put the sun on with dimensionals. And then I cut out some clouds. And these clouds are from the, oh, what's it called? The take a whirl. Let's see, did I write it down? Give it a whirl dies, which we haven't used yet. Give it a whirl, the little spinner card. I did make a card that I was planning on doing with the Woodland Friends, and then I didn't do it, and now that stamp set is sold out, so I have to come up with something else. Oops, I put the dimension on the wrong side. No, no, I don't like that. All right, try that again. Little cloud right there, and then I'm gonna take my scissors. Oh, I have no scissors. I have no scissors. What happened? 18 pair of scissors all in the same drawer. All right, and snip. And then we're done. Simple, easy, fast. This would be great to mass produce. And remember, you can make this anything. Happy birthday, sunshine. Hello, sunshine. Miss you, sunshine. Change the words to make it fit, right? Whatever you need. If you don't need a thank you card, um, change it but add the little sunshine words to it and boom, you got it. What do you guys think? Cute, right? I did no embellishments. Do you think I should have added embellishments? I just was like, no, I don't think we need embellishments. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't think I did. I don't know what, maybe, maybe some white twine would be okay. Maybe. <laughs> no ribbon today. Okay, let me clean up and we're gonna move on to the second card. Thanks guys, you're so sweet. The colors, I know I love the colors too, I love them. I um, am trying to not use polished pink on every single project. I today was also working on next week's projects and guess what? <laughs> I use polished pink again. I love it so much. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, you ready? Now, this card, you make me happy. Like the song, right? You know what I'm saying? You make me happy when skies are gray, right? Perfect. Now, it doesn't say sun on it, and there's only one stamp from <laughs> Sharing Sunshine. It's the sun rays, okay? So does it still qualify as a Sharing Sunshine project? Yes, it does because we're using that. Now, I'm also using, we're gonna combine two stamp sets to make that sentiment. I had to do some digging, went through the catalog with a fine tooth comb, and I found two different stamps to use. So, the You Make Me Smile is from Hydrangea Haven, and then the Happy is from Biggest Wish. All right, so we're gonna combine those. All right, but the first thing we're gonna do is make that background. Can you, can you guys tell that that background is a little shimmery? All right, well, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let me grab my grid paper. And guess what? You're gonna need your, um, your hello post-it tape. Um, you can tape this down, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of this, a little bit of adhesive behind it. And we're gonna use one of our basic pattern masks. This is my favorite one, the circles. And it's good to use the grid paper because then you can line up your mask 
with the lines on your grid paper as well. And then get your post-it tape and be generous with your post-it tape. Don't be like me and hoard it. All right, there, that'll hold it down. So I found, I found something interesting this week when I was doing these projects. I have always loved Daffodil Delight, but for some reason, it just wasn't doing it for me this last week. It was too orangey. And so I pulled out So Saffron, and I was really a lot happier with a So Saffron with this card. I just needed that yellow to be a little bit softer. So I've got So Saffron here and my blending brush, and I'm starting the on the edges so that I don't get any, you know, when you do this, see how that leaves like a big hard mark? You wanna get that big like, you know, first initial um, dark ink off that blending brush before you put it on your paper. All right, now you could keep going and going and going until you get it darker, but I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I wanted these circles to be shiny, shimmery. So I got out my Wink Estella and I was like, okay, well, we'll just color them in. But oh my gosh, guess how long that's gonna take? A really long time. Now you could do that. You might have time on your hands, but you know me, I don't have time on my hands. So I am gonna squeeze some Wink Estella out on a clear block and I'm just gonna flick it. Now, is it gonna be as solid as if I painted each circle? No but it's gonna be plenty enough to give it the shimmer that, you know, enough shimmer to where you notice, hey, this card is shimmery. All right, so just flick it all around and done. Maybe I'll add a little bit there. <laughs> all right, and then that'll just wipe off your, um, your block. All right, so we're gonna set that aside to dry. Literally, it probably is already dry, but just in case, I'm gonna set it aside. And let's stamp our sentiment, okay? You know, FB is giving me the weird no comments thing again. Are other people having that problem this week? Oh yeah, oh, hello, you're all commenting. Why, why isn't it showing me those um, comments? <sighs> All right, let's make our sentiment. So we're gonna use, where's my memento, right here. We're gonna use the first set, uh, the first stamp from Hydrangea Haven. And we need to mask off, it says, you make me smile, so we need to mask off the smile. And you could use a post-it note if you want, which I did in the clean recording of this video, which you will find on YouTube. But then I thought, hello, let's just use post-it tape. All right, and then there's a little dot there. You see where the eye is? You gotta make sure that you cover that little dot up. And I don't wanna cover up any more of that Y. So just kind of tear it around, tear it into pieces until you've got everything covered to the best of your ability, okay? So you can see that pretty much. Now I'm gonna stamp it here in Memento and I'm gonna very carefully take that off. And you can look and see if you have ink somewhere. Like the first time I did it, I got a little bit of ink right there on the S. If that happens, take your blender, blend it, what is this called? Blender pen. Now that we have blending brushes, I can never remember what these are called. Blender pen, and just wipe off like where you accidentally got the extra ink. Oh, you know what? I meant to do the other word first. Do you think it'll stay? Okay, let's do the other word real fast. <laughs> Wait a minute, I don't need to have the light. I need to close that one. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I meant to do the big word first. Let's do that. Happy. Oh, and another thing I was gonna tell you. These photopolymer stamps, these are very shallow. So when you use them, look, see? The ink gets between the letters. So what you need to do, and I'm gonna clean mine, you may have to re-ink that other <laughs> stamp again. Um, when you ink this, these big photopolymer stamps in this set, just do tap, 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 real light, okay? Um, don't squish hard, and then it'll be perfect. Okay, let's see. 
Is it still gonna be wet enough? It was, yay! And look, I did it too low, a little bit too low. Meh, we're going with it. Okay, so you've got that, you've got your two stamps. I love to do that to my, um, to make a sentiment that we don't have or that I don't have. I like to piecemeal other, other uh, sayings together. Do you guys do that? I love doing that. Again, I don't see your comments. Um, I wanted to show you this. This was my test run with that, with that mask last week. Um, this was with no shimmer. I didn't really like it on white. And then this was Daffodil Delight on Daffodil Delight. It was just too much. I needed it to be softer. And then this one was Daffodil Delight on white. And then let's compare it. Let's get our, let's get our other piece and compare it. I don't know, I just feel like so saffron. It probably looks the same to you guys. No, I can tell. Can you tell it's lighter? It just feels a little softer. And I don't usually think of so saffron to use for a card like this. I mean, to me, this card still looks bright and cheery. Now I started off with a piece bigger than I needed, which I really didn't need to do. Um, usually I make the piece bigger because I tape it down on the edges and I need the edges. I need to be able to cut off the edges, but I didn't do that this time. So really I didn't need to make that bigger. All right, so let's put that down on our card base. And then look what I've pulled out. I don't think I've used this paper yet. Oh, you hear the angel singing, the buffalo check, the gingham, black and white gingham. Buffalo check is big, fat checkers. I think this would qualify as gingham. Um, it's from the party, pattern party, designer series paper that is free with a over $150 order. You get it as stamp and rewards. Oh, look, that looks pretty, too. And that's Bumblebee. All right, so I'm going to put that there. I've cut out a stitched so sweetly, stitched scalloped rectangle. And um, it's the third largest. And this time, I'm going to, and this is going to look really weird, I know. I'm going to do this right here and then one right here. And then when you put your circle on here, it's gonna cover them up and it's just gonna stick out enough right there. Okay, so play around with that. See how I kind of did them funky? But they look just fine. They look, I think that's about as perfect as you can get it. It's not gonna fit all the way around your circle because it's not the right size. <laughs> Carla says, I wish they would do a whole pack of that pattern. Me and you both. We have had some black and white packs, but I don't think we've ever, did we have one that had all black and white? Or I mean that had black and white. I can't remember. I think we did Buffalo, but not all. I know we need like 12 sheets in one pack of the same pattern, right? I agree. All right. Now this card does have embellishments. I'm going to take some black twine and tie that around the fold. So this card, you make me happy, could be thank you. It could be a friend thinking of you. You're awesome. I don't know. Lots of things this, this card could be. All right. The twine is giving me issues. Come on, twine. I'm going to tie you in a knot so you could stay there. There we go. My husband is coming home early today, you guys, and we're gonna go out on the boat by ourselves without the children. I know, don't tell them, they'll be so mad. <laughs> I'm excited. It's funny, you never really get to do very much just as a couple when your kids are, you know. Mine aren't, my kids aren't super young, but the two younger ones, you know, are still still pretty much wanting to do things with us for the most part. All right, a few of these. Oh, what are these sequins called? They have a name. Artistry Bloom Sequins. And I'm just going to do about four and call it a day.
done what do you guys think very cute right i love the polka dots and um check uh, gingham i do stitch fix i don't know do, you, do any of you guys do stitch fix i'm sure you do but my stitch fix person said i noticed that you like stripes and polka dots <laughs> from the things that I had pinned on Pinterest. And I went back and looked and sure enough, almost all the clothes that I had sent her to look at things that I liked were stripes and polka dots. So yes, I like stripes and polka dots and this is not straight. Oh, there we go. That needs to be straightened. That's why. There we go. Okay. Card number two is done. I feel like we're moving really fast today. Oh my gosh. We're going to get done by three o'clock or two o'clock, right? Wow. Easy projects this week or what? That's crazy. I guess I need to talk some more. <laughs> okay, let me get our third project. Now our third project, gosh, I'm thirsty. So hot in here. My husband bought these, um, oh, what are they called? These little cooling units. It's supposed to be like a little tiny uh, air conditioner. Because again, I told you guys last week, right, about possible rolling blackouts so he ordered these little cooling coolant I know you know what I'm talking about it's more than a fan it's like a little cooling unit um and they were little and <laughs> bless his heart they came and they're not even as good as a fan they're terrible I put one in here because my office is always super hot in the summer and he came home yesterday. I was like, I don't know what this thing is you bought, but it, you need to get your money back. We looked at um, air conditioning units that you put like in a window, whatever. They're expensive. I'm not willing to spend that. Okay. That was a sidebar. Always with the sidebars. Hi, Pepper. Are you coming in to bug? Um, project number three. So when I first saw the stamp set, the first thing I thought of, <laughs> Carla, maybe whip up a fourth project real quick. Uh, you know what? I wish I was, I could do things on the fly. I have never been a fly by the seat of my pants kind of person. Yeah, I, I would probably like freeze. Um, anyways, when I first saw this stamp set, the very first thing I thought about was many, many, many years ago, probably... One of my very first years at the, my last school, which would be like 15, 16 years ago, um, I had a kid whose mom brought me one day at the end of the year, a box of sunshine. That's what she called it, a box of sunshine. And it was a box that had all yellow things in it. There was like a yellow beach towel. There were lemon drops. There was, I can't remember, just all these yellow things. And I was so like floored I was so I thought it was so creative well now you see it all the time on Pinterest a box of sunshine is a pretty common well-known thing now that was before Pinterest so the first thing okay Pepper go the first thing that I thought of was a box of sunshine and so instead of a box of sunshine we're gonna do a bag of sunshine and I'm gonna show you all the little things that I put in here when when we get done Pepper's in here again bugging me Pepper, I need you to go. She thinks I'm talking to her. No, I already gave you a bone. Now go. Okay, okay. You need some kids to play with you. Go, go, go. All right, so let's make the bag first. This is the... Why can't I remember names this week? All dressed up. All dressed up dies. Um, in the annual catalog, they've been around for a couple of years, and they make this adorable little purse. Um, before... We put it together though. We're going to add some polka dots. Remember the little circle that we used for our son's cheeks? Well, that's what we're going to do here. And I'm just going to do it quickly because it does kind of take a little bit of time. So I'm just going to do, do, do. You know what? I think I'll just do one. I'll do the front. But if you're making this for somebody, you should do both sides. All right. So I cut it out of polished pink cardstock and I'm doing polished pink um, polka dots. You do need to cut two of these. The die looks just like this, and so you need to cut two. And I believe you can get, if I remember correctly, I just cut these yesterday, you can get two out of one sheet of cardstock. So you'll only need one sheet 
to cut to get one purse. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to use tear and tape because it is the perfect width right here for our tabs. All right. So let me tear off a long piece and I'm going to start right here. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here like that. Now we've got these little tabs right here. I haven't used this die in a while. When it first came out, I almost lost my mind. I loved it so much. But then new shiny things came out. <laughs> I lost, I lost focus on it. Um, now this is the bottom. We're going to put adhesive, whichever one is going to be your front. We're going to put adhesive on the back side of that one. Okay. All right, we need to burnish all the score lines, but we also need to peel off this. I'm gonna just do the first one like this. You have to make sure that you line up the bottom and the top because it, it's at an angle, so it kind of throws you off. You're like, wait a minute. But as long as you make sure that corner and that corner are lined up, you'll be good to go. Um, Catherine, um, the tear and tape, the tear and tape dispenser is from an Etsy store called Crafters Solution. And if you go over to Etsy and just type in Crafters Solution, their little store will come up. They're a husband, wife team, um, that make these on a, on a 3D printer. All right, burnish, 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 got all that. Now, peel that up right there. And now we're gonna fold this over. And this one gets a little weird because you have to kinda bend the paper. I don't know, it just feels like it's not right until you get it there and then you're like, oh, it's perfect. All right, so now, which I should have done these before, Get these off. Next week, you guys, we're gonna do, <laughs> did y'all hear that? My daughter, I think I've told y'all, my daughter has taught the dog. She's bought these buttons that record words and then she has one for a walk, one for outside, one for cookie. Well, the dog is in the front pounding on her walk button. She wants me to take her for a walk. It's only 105,000 degrees outside. So Pepper, sorry, <laughs> 105,000. That's very hot. All right, fold those up. Now, for some reason, this one's a little wonky. I don't know what I did. It's sticking out a little bit, so I'm just gonna trim that off. Next week, Facebook Friday. Let's see, next week, yep, I believe we'll be back to our regularly, regularly scheduled program. Um, it's going to be the stamp set. I can't remember the name, but it has the little suitcase and the paper airplane and the boat and the camera. Let me look, it's out. I'll tell you what it's called. It is called Sweet Farewell. Sweet Farewell. So in case you want to order it with free shipping today, you have till the end of the day. Okay, so there's our purse. You can do it like that, and then you don't have to put very much in it. But if you pop it out like that, then you can fill it with all the goodies that I'm going to fill it with. Now, the die set comes with, where did I put my bone folder? The die set comes with this die to cut out um, your straps, purse straps. Yeah, it, Catherine, it is definitely a pavement so hot burn your pause day. You know, I was um, listening to the news, local news yesterday, and they were saying that the air temperature doesn't have to be very hot for that pavement to be too hot for them. Um, I always walk early in the morning about 6.30, so it's okay then. But my husband does walk sometimes in the evening with the dog, and I need to remind him to check that pavement. You guys, if you walk your dogs and you don't think it's too hot outside, touch that pavement, they say, with the back of your hand like that. And if you can hold it there for five seconds, then it's fine. But if not, don't walk your dog. I know, poor little babies. I um, We had a Border Collie once that we had to rehome because I was a dumb college student who bought a Border Collie um, while living in an apartment, okay? I was 
20 and stupid. Anyways, we gave it to a family friend who ended up being the best family for that, that dog. But anyway, that dog, Madison, loved, 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 loved to chase the ball. And they threw the ball so much one afternoon that she burned all her paws. Like, she didn't even stop. And afterwards, her paws were all burned. They didn't know. They were, I say, they're a really good family. They really are. It just was one of those you didn't know, you know, was the, the daughter that did it. Poor baby. But let me tell you, it didn't stop Madison from wanting to chase that ball. They would throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball. Okay, so while I'm talking about random things, I didn't even tell you what I'm doing. I curved those with my bone folder so that they're a little bit more pliable. I use Tombow because I feel like Tombow holds the best here for things like this. Then I use my little clothespins from the Dollar Tree to hold it while it dries, okay? Now, while that is happening, we are going to do the sun. And we're gonna stamp, there's a, there's a stamp in this set that, looks like a watermark, like a, like a little round, you know, watercolor circle. Well, that's the sun. And I don't, that's really dark. Let's see if we stamped it again, what it would look like. That's too light. Let's try, um, let's try the saffron. I think maybe I just might have re-inked my Daffodil Delight with the wrong re-inker. <laughs> I started thinking that, yesterday oh it does not look like it's the right color okay let's try the so saffron there we go ah, that's so much better have you guys ever done that i don't think i've ever done that there's a first time for everything okay so this time we're using the other little face where he's kind of got his little mouth to the side um, then we're going to stamp, let's use that saffron again. We're going to stamp this sun on Daffodil Delight cardstock. Um, there is no dye. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I won't even tell you how I just got ink on my shirt. Um, there's no dye. I know. Wah, wah. We're going to have to, uh, hand cut that. But this will, if you've got circle punches, look, let me show you. Perfect, right? This is one and a fourth. If you don't have circle punches, we don't sell circle punches anymore for whatever weird reason. The the second, no, no, the smallest circle die is almost identical, and that one will work just as well, okay? Um, so now get your scissors. Yeah, oopsies, Yvonne, you're right. I'm covered in ink all the time and dimensionals and glue dots, and, you know, I'm going to cut all of this extra cardstock off. It's a good problem to have. All right, so let's go through. I talked to my oldest daughter this morning. They are in New Orleans doing a mission trip. She is so amazing, you guys. I could, she's just like, I, I could never have done this at her age. Like, she's so outgoing. She's not afraid to talk to anybody. They are talking to homeless people and people in the French Quarter, they're, they're witnessing to them. They're sharing the Bible with them. And I just told her, I'm like, you are amazing. I, I, at that age, I would have been way too shy, too scared, too nervous. And she's like, why? No problem. She's just amazing. So they've been there since Saturday. It's rained a lot. Do we have anybody here on, on here from New Orleans? Is Karen here? Karen's from Louisiana. Um, it's been nasty weather. And then they went yesterday to a swamp tour and she sent me all the pictures of all the alligators. All right. So we've got that. We've got that. Now, wait, there's more. Do you recognize this? This is the large Daisy punch and I've punched two. Again, I have no comments. Close, open. Oh, you're all talking. Hello. It's very orangey. Yeah, Catherine, I don't know. It's very orangey. So you think that that's how it should look? For some reason, this is weird. This this ink pad is weird. I did order a new ink pad. We'll see. Pam, it's raining in Tampa. Hey, Pam, how far are you from, from Miami? You're, you're not too, too far, are you? Did you guys see what happened in Miami last night? That building collapsed. 
By the way, I'm just chit-chatting, not telling you what I'm doing. I am cutting our little daisy so that it's pointy and looks more like a sun, sun rays, okay? If you haven't watched the news today, you need to get online and look it up. The, this building, condominium, has collapsed in Miami. And when I saw it this morning, because FYI, I'm a news junkie. I watch the news all day. Um, I was like, oh, wow, it looks like the front of, remember the Oklahoma City bombing? It looked like the front of that building. It, they're, not, they're not saying it's a bombing. I'm just saying that's what it reminded me of. But then this afternoon, I saw that, that there was um, some footage of the building collapsing. And what you see is only about a fourth of what's left. I mean, the whole thing came down. This three, four story building, huge condominium. It is awful. Have you guys seen it? The other side of the state, five hours, Pam, really? Well, I thought I, I thought y'all were closer than that. That's really far. Aren't you down on the bottom and then Miami's down here? I, I just thought it would be closer. Shows my geography ignorance. Um, that's, that would be like from here to Dallas. People will say, so I live in Dallas. Is that close? Mm, it's five hours as far. Okay, so now, you guys, if I'm not kidding. If you haven't seen that, you need to look it up. It is awful. I can't even imagine how it happened. But like Pam said, they've had some crappy weather there. Rainy, rainy, rainy. So maybe something, I don't know. But I mean, that shouldn't make a building collapse. Okay, back to this. I'm sorry. That was kind of a, a drag that I brought that up. Um, dimensional, dimensional. And then we'll do dimensionals here. One there. We're just making our son a little fancier. 12 story, Peggy. 12 stories. You know, when I said three or four floors, that didn't sound right, but I swear that's what I heard earlier. But you're right. I mean, it's like a, like a condo that you would go stay in if you were going to the coast and you rented a condo. It's really like a huge building. Crazy. Um, <laughs> Catherine, my YouTube notifications just came through. Oh, probably because my videos just posted, my pre-recorded videos. Yeah, you guys, if you want to come back and watch, maybe you want to make this and you don't want to hear my blah, 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 all that, there are clean recordings of each of these projects over on YouTube. Individual recordings, and you can just get the important information and get your project made. All right, so now we're doing happy birthday and we're going to do that sunshine again. So if it's not, you know, when she, when that mom that I was teaching, when she gave me that box of sunshine, it was not for my birthday. It was like a just end of the year gift, like we love you, you know, that kind of thing. So if you want to do this for somebody, it doesn't have to be for their birthday. Just change the sentiment like, hello, sunshine, or you make me happy or whatever. You can just change it. Now I'm gonna do, I want the sun to come down over this. So I'm gonna, see how I put a dimensional there? I may have to, let's see, Pepper, don't start. She was supposed to go to a play date and it didn't work out. So see how I slid that down? Although I feel like we need to go a little bit higher. So I'm gonna pull up that dimensional just a bit. And uh, yeah. What? What do you want? You can't go for a walk. There we go. So see how I kind of sandwiched it between the front sun and the back sun? And then we're going to put it right there. Maybe you should go to the lake with us. She's not been to the lake. She's She probably would bark at everybody. And there we go. Oh, look. <laughs> I needed to put polka dots on that side. Okay, so now what did I put inside? Well, I went to Five Below. Do you guys have Five Below? Um, we've had Five Below here for a while, but it was pretty new to us a couple of years ago. It's basically a fancy dollar store. <laughs> and I say fancy because everything is $5 and below. Um, so this is what I ended up getting there. A little um, sunscreen, because I thought that was good, right? Juicy fruit. Hi, Chew. I've never had these. I don't know. I don't know. And then they have a bulk candy there that you can get 10 for a dollar. I got two of those Laffy Taffies. And then I think Starburst would be better, but these are um, 
now and laters. So what I found is that I needed a little bit of height at the bottom. So I opened the now and laters like this and, and put them down there at the bottom. And then I'm gonna put that one down there. Well, no, maybe that's too, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let me try again. Hold please, pepper please. There we go. Okay, so let's do, yeah, one, one layer like that. And then we'll put that in there. And then we'll put the Laffy Taffies like that. And then one last thing, this little yellow pen I had in my little drawer of goodies and it was from the dollar spot a while back. But I bet you could find something like that at the Dollar Tree too. And then I just hooked that to the side. And last but not least, we're gonna put some ribbon on it. Hi Chews are like Starburst, Catherine. Are they as good? I mean, I'm not a huge Starburst fan, but my kids love them. It looks like it has something in the middle. This is the Flowers for Every Season white ribbon. Thanks for the share, I appreciate it. Oh, Lisa, thank you. Glad you guys like it. I, this is just a cute, easy gift. I mean, so easy. And there you have it. So cute. I don't like that there's no polka dots on this side. I wonder if I can add them now. Hmm, I'll have to do that after <laughs> while you guys aren't watching. Okay, oh my gosh, nope, it's after two. I talk too much. Now, I've got these three projects, but I want you to know that on Monday, I've got another project for you. This one features um, the Sharing Sunshine, but also the one that's called After the Storm. I use the sun rays and the sentiment from that stamp set. So be looking, there's a video on this. It'll come out on Monday. So you'll have another reason to use your um, Sharing Sunshine stamp set. And remember you guys, this stamp set is only $16. That's cheap in the Stamping Up world. Um, and today is free shipping. So if you want to order it and get to that $50 mark, the $50 mark will get you free shipping and it'll get you the, the PDF, the, um, all-star tutorial PDF for this month. And then if you want the make and takes from me, use the host code here. If you don't want the make and takes, you're like, mm, not my thing, Erica, totally fine. Please send me a free embellishment. I would love to send you a free embellishment. Use that host code. The other thing you need to remember, if your, ho if your order is over $150, make sure that you don't use the host code because you get Stampin' Rewards, which, you know, I, I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like this gets missed a lot. Remember when we used to host parties when we all used to get together in people's houses? <laughs> That's what these host rewards were designed for. This is the back of every catalog. If your party, all the people who came to your house for your class or your workshop, spent, if they all t collectively spent over $150, you would earn 10% of that in Stamper Rewards, which are also free things, right? But that shouldn't just say party sales. That should say your own personal order. <laughs> If your own personal order is over $150, you're going to get 10% Stampin' Rewards. And the way you collect that is as soon as you hit $150 on the ordering screen, when you go to the next item, there'll be a new button there that says Claim Reward. And you can claim that as your Stampin' Rewards. You can get anything you want for Stampin' Rewards. But there's also a few things, where's my catalog, a few things that are exclusively available for Stampin' Rewards, hold on, hold on, um, which that paper that we love, and the paper's $18, but let's say you spent $150 and you got $15 in host rewards or Stampin' Rewards, you can still get this paper and just pay the difference, the $3, okay? That paper that we love. Um, but then there's some other things back here too. Okay, so don't forget, don't use the host code if your order is over $150 so you can get free stuff. Um, I went to grab my catalog and look, I found that, that card I was talking about. Look, isn't that cute? I was going to do this, but now the stamp set sold out. The give it a whirl dies. How cute, right? We definitely need to, to use these in the next couple weeks. They're fun. 
All right, you guys have a great week. I will be back next Friday. Um, don't forget free shipping in the today, tonight. I think it's 11.50 p.m. Mountain Time. Um, and that's it. You guys have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.